Oh. Yeah. Uh, how's that? What's up, everybody? Hopefully you can hear me. The audio might not be that great. I don't know. Anyway, so I finally got my touch panel in. And I have the adapter board plugged into it. Comes with an SD card. It's pretty sweet. So now what we're doing is trying to get it to work. So it's just power, ground, and then two serial connections. And then on the top, you've got the pins right there. Those. All right, those plugged into the board. Dedicated port just for the uh, just for the for this application. So basically, this controller you have to actually write the firmware to it, and so I have to configure this to run this screen size, which is five inches. I think it's either set for seven or four point five. So I have to reconfigure it. I'll turn it on and show you what it looks like. Let's do that now. Okay, so if I turn it on. it looks like this let me adjust the so this is what it looks like and if you try to touch these points which is for calibration nothing happens if you poke around for a while there you go see it'll do something so it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely confused and we need to program it for the correct size of screen so what we're gonna do and we're going to plug in a USB cable here into the laptop and actually program the correct firmware to this chip right here. So I'm probably going to turn the printer off. I'm going to unplug this power. I'm going to plug in this guy and see if it powers on okay so it's powered on now we have to reset it and reconfigure it so let's get set up to do that alright so basically what we're gonna do is find the software which you can find online um, this guy's website who's the one who actually made the thing I believe David Crockers if I pronounce his name right uh, he's got really good descriptions on what's going on here. So basically I'm going to find the proper dimension and update. So we'll go to releases, 5 inch. The 5 is the screen size here. So copy that. I'm just going to dump it right here on the V drive because I know where it's at. I'm going to open up do uh, Windows uh, command line and basically I'm just copying this right off his website this is exactly what we want to do right here so first we gotta do V alright so we're in there and then luckily we're in Windows we can just paste it uh, if it works first thing we need to do is reset this guy alright so what we want to do so we're going to plug this guy in. I'm going to plug the panel back into it. Alright, I'm going to plug this in. There we go. We want to hit reset for two seconds. And then we want to go in here to the ports and see it's a Bolsa programming port, COM10. You're not supposed to put it in your mouth. Malachi. Alright, so we want to just copy this and paste it. Boop. Okay, and we want to put this as COM10. Alright, put this as COM10. And then what we want to do is go find our actual firmware copy <coughs> I hear you uh, can't do it that way alright so this is basically it we just hit enter and it should write it right to it which it is <coughs> Here, 
on this box. All right, so it says successfully flashed, done, and blah, blah, blah. So now let's reset it, and now we're good. There we go. Now we're happy, so let's plug it back into the printer and see how it works. That thing's really tough, kid. All right, I got this mark so we don't blow it up. Try and do this one-handed. All right, let's turn it on. Let's see what we get. Ready? On. All right. So adjust the color. All right. Touch here. So we're gonna calibrate this guy. Ah, success. We're in like Flynn. Now let's see how we. Oh, this is. This is great. And I still have the uh, cover on here, so... Okay. SD card, all the files on there. Very nice. Alright, so that's basically uh -huh. it. Quite simple. All right, so I guess I could take this off. I want to leave it on there so I can play with it later without scratching it up. But that's okay. So I do not know. Oh, it's connected. Oh yeah, and you're attached to that, so that's bad. Calibrate touch. Mirror display, keyboard enable, English, invert display, all right, <clears throat> it's pretty, re it's pretty responsive, console, you can plug in something like G29, actually invalid G code G28 yeah I know sorry you guys are sitting on there it's a little vibrated the way it runs go to the SD card set height dot G code outer circle hexagonal test Okay, so those are the stuff that's on the card itself. Set the speed. You can control it in all directions. <coughs> X, Y, and Z, even though 0.05, 50, 100. Okay, that's for the Z. Change everything for extrude. There's the macros. Uh oh. Wait, how do you stop the thing? I I turned off <laughs> I just stop it. I turned off I got the probe out. Reset. <coughs> Let's see how quickly it connects. Ah, pretty good. You hanging out down there, kid? Alright, well anyway, touch panel is really, really, really nice to have. So I can configure this by writing my own C code software for it, but I probably won't ever do that. Volume. Mirror display. <laughs> it's all backwards. <clears throat> Put it back. Okay. Save setting. Save and restart. 
sure, let's save and restart. It's pretty cool. So I have you sitting on this. Let me let me move this. There we go. Now it do, it still doesn't pick up my name right, but it never did. So let's print a uh, this one. So you probably not gonna be able to see it because the lighting's turned way down, but the lights upside down. Alright, put this back. And it's done. So if I wanted to edit the macros, oh okay, no, I have to make them in there, that's fine. Yeah, of course, nothing's connected. So that's actually pretty cool, because then I can uh, probably get right into it. Let's go back to uh, this. and. Run this. Okay, set. Oh, that's cool. I want to go to three hundred fan speed. Man, that's responsive. That's nice. Oh, that didn't quite load right over there, did it? Didn't refresh right. Active, standby. I can actually set those. Hi, Malachi. Oh, yeah. So there, right there, is that's the bed level. So let's go ahead and stick this in here and see how that runs. Alright, let's try it again. It's past ten. Oh, we gotta go then. I got it working. Good job. So it's not doing anything. Here's in my coffee then, it's fine. I had to use something. <laughs> good night, Malachi. Say good night. Color's terrible because I got it all focused funny. So we're probing. <laughs> it's bouncing. From bouncing. It's jumping himself. He gets excited. Okay. <gasps> He's so excited. Don't let him grab this stuff. Okay. This is my audio at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Z right now is at 400. So now it says it's at 150. Oh, there's a bird. Good job. Gonna swallow it this oh, time. Oh, there we go. That's because it was actually at 150. Let's try. Look how responsive this is. Like the touch? Yeah, it's really fast. Yeah. Oh, mommy. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Let me close this. Yeah. go. That's how that's done. And it's working. <laughs> Very good. Now we move on to the next step. Coloring. Coloring!
Malachi, you're gonna fall off. Hey, what are you doing? You're gonna fall out of your chair. Yes, I understand. <laughs> this is not fetch for daddy. You're supposed to chew on it or something. Just something. Chew on it. Ugh. Here, how about Snuggie? Like Snuggie? You like Snuggie? You like Snuggie? Huh? Here you go. That's yours. You sleep with it. It's nice. Oh. Yeah! Ugh. Now I gotta get this kid. Oh. Gotta get this kid to bed. You're a nut, dude. You're a freaking nut, man. Look at you. You've got USB cables. Shouldn't be having all these things, dude. High fives. Oh my goodness. You're gonna rip it out. Better unplug it. Just don't put that one in your mouth. That one went through the fire. The fire. Remember when I tried to burn the house down? Yeah, this was right next to it. I'll put that over there. Alright, dude. Look. Look. It works. If it, it, it works. All right, let's go put this kid to bed, and we'll be back. We'll play with it. Man, that's a bad color, dude. You are an antsy pants. Hey, I'll just put you down here. And you can go play. <laughs> antsy pants.